Okay, I'm here at uh, Derwent Water with John Hooson of the National Trust. John, just explain a little bit about sort of where we are and what we've been looking out for this morning. Okay, James, we're right on the, standing on the shores of Derwent Water, which is one of the, the iconic lakes of the Lake District, that makes up the Lake District. And uh, we're hoping to see signs of, of otters. Uh, we've had a, a good look round. It's a perfect morning for, for otter watching because it's so still and, and calm and uh, the lake's quite glassy. And the, the first sign we might see of, uh, of otter would be a, uh, a break of the surface of the, of the lake. Just that uh, ripples appearing, maybe see a sight of the, of the back of the otter as, as it porpoises along. That's what I'd hope to see. We haven't seen anything like that today. We haven't seen any sort of sprains or anything like that either, but we've been looking out for those. Yeah. What, what do you look out for in terms of those sorts of things? Well, the sprains is, is effectively otter, otter poo. Yeah. Uh, it's quite characteristic, and the, the otters will place their, their, their droppings, these sprains, uh, in quite prominent places. So they're marking territories to let other otters know that they have been through and uh, the, the sprain will hang around in that place for quite a while before it completely decomposes or gets washed away by a flood. So that's a, a, a quite a, a, a hard and fast way of, of knowing that otters have been there. And the sprain, the way you know the otter poo is actually otter poo and not something else as it's, it's uh, what it contains. So it might contain uh, fish scales or uh, the remains of uh, our native freshwater crayfish up here. Uh, which is uh, you know not not going to you're not going to get fish scales or crayfish in um, a fox right. uh, droppings. Yeah. It'll, it'll more or less only be in, in otter sprains, and it'll have a characteristic, quite sweet, uh, fishy smell. Yeah. So uh, quite pleasant if you're uh, if you don't mind the smell of fish. And and anyone can come along here, wander around, and and, and look out for for signs or, or you know, yeah, possible. Yeah, abs absolutely. Yeah. It's open access. Uh, uh, you, you know, uh, I'd encourage people to come and, and look for wildlife around Derwent Water full stop and uh, if you're lucky, uh, which we haven't been, uh, you might just get that glimpse of the uh, elusive otter swimming across. Or if you have your eyes open and know what you're looking for, uh, try and find the sprints under, uh, on, they're beyond quite prominent locations like a, a big boulder or underneath a bridge parapet, uh, perhaps on a a large uh, tree that's overhanging the lake, somewhere that the, the otter will perceive as prominent in, in its landscape. But we have seen some nice stuff today. We've seen uh, Gusanda, Magansas, mm -hmm. there's a woodpecker in the background. Yeah. There's plenty out here, isn't there's there? There's cuckoos calling as yeah. well this time of year from the fell side. So, uh, yeah, you may want to uh, focus your, your search on the otter, but yeah, definitely keep your eyes open for everything else that's going on uh, on the lake and around.